the project they're working on is the in-service train data recording. This is to utilize data collected from in-service trains to replace or supplement manual inspection and therefore improve safety of our frontline colleagues. Introducing more and more in-service trains with for the cameras, we're hoping to capture 90% of the network. But once we get to that stage, we could save tens of millions of pounds a year. So within the project team, we are working with Greater Anglia and EMR on fitting the forward-facing videos and the OLE monitoring equipment. The on-train CCTV cameras actually cover a, a number of different areas. So we have cameras that are inside the trains for passenger comfort and safety. We have cameras that are on the roof to look at the pantograph, which effectively is the piece of kit which takes the power from the overhead lines into the train. So if there are any issues or incidents in that area, it's great to be able to use that footage to see what's happened technically. Um, and we also have cameras uh, on the front of the train of seeing what the driver sees. It's incredibly helpful for seeing things like not only what's going on in an incident and managing that incident, but also it's helpful for seeing things like vegetation, which of course causes us problems because it can damage trains, but also it can touch on things like overhead lines as well, which gives us a performance challenge. We'll be able to use footage from the forward facing CCTV cameras, rather than sending the teams to an area where there, there isn't excess growth, the teams can effectively use the footage to dive in straight to the areas where there is excess growth, um, which will help them with planning their workload, making sure they're efficient with resource, which in turn drives, drives down industry cost. So we can apply preventative maintenance because before the faults evolve, we can stop it and move it. Is to use OLE monitoring so that we can prevent severe incidents like dewirement where the, the wires come down and trains have to stop running. We prevented six dewirement events in the last few months. Maintenance staff can use the data, the videos, to inspect the track instead of going out on track. We'll also be able to use things like the forward-facing CCTV footage to help out with managing safety incidents. So where, for example, a train might hit an animal on the track or a shopping trolley, we can really quickly assess the situation, make a decision and decide whether or not the railway is, is safe, safe to operate. Um, uh, and that can be done remotely without putting people on the tracks. It's a massive safety benefit to colleagues that are on the train and to Network Rail colleagues. 